Hey, Max here. Welcome to Market Monday, where we go everything uh, market in Madden 22. Now, it was a light day of content. It's going to be a light day of content tomorrow. Nothing to my knowledge. Next content I think we're going to get is Wednesday. I would expect it to be Rising Stars. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, there it is on these things. So really, those are the next places for training demand. Depends on really how good the cards are. The surprising thing, Rising Stars are generally, they've been one of the better card releases that we've gotten. Remember like early season, Isaiah Simmons, Zach Wilson was like the best quarterback in the game for a hot minute since he was the only one that got Gunslinger. Uh, but let's talk about how we're making coins still. Actually, let's talk about the big controversy first before we go in. Here's, here's the agenda for today, okay? Um, uh, uh, limiteds and a big issue on Xbox surrounding those. Uh, Pro Bowl content, Super Bowl content, the playoff promo, investments, um, and then like coming soon, attractments, attractments, attachments, uh, attractions for uh, promos. All right, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the biggest issue right now in Mutt and EEA's continued ignorance and awfulness when it comes to the market. Now, if you take a look at the limiteds from last Thursday, Amani here and uh Gaseki. you'll see a streak of 100 coins uh as the auction prices that happening on both these cards now when they hit it looks like the number what what is it three six eight sixteen so about 16 auctions of 100 coins is all it took their price filters to set the only available ability to put Amani up on the block is for 100 coins, right? We saw this on PC. This is the first time it, maybe it's happened on Xbox previously, but this is the first time I remember it happening. But anyways, this is Omani. Basically, you, you can't list them. It's awful. This is the problem with price ranges, but EA is too ignorant and thick-skulled to understand, hey, maybe we should have fun with this game instead of freaking making it like a, a, a goddamn communist flea market right here. I don't know what the point of the flea part of that was, but why price structure things in a game that doesn't need freaking price bans? You're like, oh, but what about the coin sellers? Who cares? Who cares? This is the things that affect us, all right? You're making millions. Just quit it, dude. So now people on Xbox can't even list up their Amanis. Like their investments are, 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 if they did investment, if they got the coins and they want to put it back in the market, they can't do it. Because they're ignorant. Freaking EA. How long has Mutt been growing for? And this is the first year you had to put in price ranges? You just had to do it, didn't you? You couldn't have been a freaking smarter? God dang. What fucking awful, awful game developers. Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, make this game less fun to play. It's exactly what they did in mobile, right? They made it less fun to play. Why do you think it died? Why do you think your mobile division doesn't freaking work? Okay? I gotta keep it down because the kid's freaking sleeping. But I am so angry about stuff like this. God, get rid of the price ranges, okay? Quit it. So, anyways, good luck, Xbox. Hopefully, they unlock it for you soon. So, anyway, you can list up your Gasekis and your Awarways. Like, these guys that have, like, you know, uh, maybe they're quitting the game. They just want to cause maximum damage. And you know what? It took what a couple million coins to do it how much was this 300 to 400 k for these cards each times would it take 15 3 million um like four and a half million coins to basically lock people out of the market it's expensive but hey look at that it caused chaos fun 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 all right let's talk about content coming friday uh we'll talk about investments after it's obviously still i generally say buying limiteds are a good idea right because the price goes from like 350 when they're out of packs up to people are buying for three, 438, 450. I've said that all year. If you guys aren't investing in limiteds, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your time. Um, anyways, Super Bowl promo. Now, there technically could be a part four to the playoff promo, but they said there's only three parts to it, so I would not expect a part four like we got last year. Um, Super Bowl promo most likely launches Friday. We do notice the solos right here are ending on friday so if you logged in it says complete these things i'm not gonna do them but uh event ends on 2 4 22 at 10 30 a.m so that's like the, more than likely for all these things the conclusion of the playoff promo and we move into the super bowl since you know the super bowl's here pro bowl content i don't know maybe get a couple limiteds again this year generally ea's gone very soft on the pro bowl maybe they could change it up and go harder and, and give us more pro bowl content um, I don't know. Might be worth investing in some of the cards that are, say, you know, out of it. And they could be like, you know, maybe high-end golds or sorry, high-end elites that got Pro Bowl bids that haven't been upgraded in a while. 
because the best time for like prices on power-ups and other cards that go up um, is when like a new card, a new top of the market, like 97 overall gets released and like it's not a set. So then the power-up goes up in price. So it's not like the only power-ups I like investing in are ones that I expect a limited of. So we'll see if we do get Pro Bowl limiteds. They'll probably like talk about what's coming this week on GMM tomorrow morning. We'll of course cover that on this channel. But Subo Pass promo, um, last year if you recall, it was like a, a Patriots promo. Uh, there was just it was just an awful it was it was so bad last year this is joe namath they intentionally left him uh was this last year madden 21 i think that they, they screwed over joe namath what was it leaving him one something short of a very critical stat if I, am i right about that what was it joe namath 97 overall they, they missed on something and like so joe namath should have been incredible but he, he was just barely bad william perry was a dt last year so um, maybe similar setups coming on Friday, um, for, and, and you know, Patriots theme team, get ready for all your new Patriots. Hopefully not coming again. Hopefully this year is a Steelers one. We need it. Last year we got screwed so hard and this promo was disgusting. The entire playoff promo was awful. I think like, ugh, I think the start, the playoff promo started off bad and stayed bad. And it's just overall sad to see, but there was two parts to both past and present last year. So if you guys do have a Rams or a Bengals theme team, get ready for a flood of content. Last year, I, we had present with uh, Vernon Davis. I don't know how Vernon Davis got a card to Super Bowl present. But Tyreek Hill, um, and Dominican Sue, like all the guys on the squads getting heroes um, right there. Tristan Wirfs between the uh, the Bucks and the Chiefs last year. But that was that was uh, that promo. So those theme teams should go crazy. I know a lot of people are currently buying up Chiefs and Rams in order to invest because they think they're going to get cards and go up in price. Not a bad idea. Obviously, some cards are higher in price than you think. Like Aaron Donald's probably gone up in price quite a bit. We've probably seen a rise, I don't know, to either the quarterbacks. Uh, sumo MVP. Now, I, I don't know. Like, you know, we're going to get them as the first 99 in the game. Like, investing in who you think going to be Stafford or Herbert. Um, investing in that card, I, will there be, I'd have to go back and look at last year. I didn't do that. Investing in this card, um, it looks like 371 for his 95, which is kind of high, which is actually really high for 95. Um, I don't know if it's worth the power because they're already 99. Do you really want the plus ones? Is he actually going to get like uh, extra bonuses getting the plus one? Um, will they give him like escape artists? I don't know that 99, a 99 strong arm staff would be nice with hot route master. Much better than Herbert in my opinion. But like if he goes from 99, I don't think they're going to screw him and put him at like 81 speed, right? Because then at 82 speed to get escape artists, I think they'll probably just give him since he's on the first 99, just give him 80, uh, 82 speed along with all the uh, throw power. They'll have 99 throw power. He'll be basically great. Obviously, his throw motion is not the best in the game. He's not Derrick Henry, of course, but some people are investing in that for the most likely MVP candidates, which are quarterbacks, obviously. I put out a tweet saying who I'd like to see as the MVP of the game, of the Super Bowl. Um, maybe this is a little further away looking out into it rather than just like the, the Super Bowl promo if you want to invest in cards. But cards that like would be cool to get uh, that uh, Ramsey, Donald, Chase, Cup, Odell, Eli Apple for the memes, Mike Hilton for the Steelers theme team. Tegan's because he's 6'4", uh, but either quarterback said would be okay. But uh, let me know what you guys, who you guys want for Super Bowl MVP, who, who you want that first 99 in the game to be. I think like Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald would be the most expensive. Jamar Chase is six foot. He's cool, but he's not like, you know, glitchy for Mutt. I think T. Higgins would actually be a better pure Mutt card. Jamar Chase just has like a hotter name since he's actually incredible at the game of football. So, Super Bowl passed. We got the... We got a bunch of legends last year. A lot of them were recycled. Some of them were new. I think William Perry, was he recycled last year? Let me take a look. He was not recycled last year. So he was fresh. Joe Namath was fresh. Keenan McCardell, I believe, was a Team Diamond. So cards that haven't gotten um, upgrades. Team Diamond here for Bob Sanders. Maybe not a bad idea to look back at previous uh, legends that were released. Brandon Cooks, James White, David... D Wait, these ones are not like... Super Bowl passed. These were like flashbacks. I remember that. Yeah, flashbacks to other guys that had good Super Bowls in the past. You can look at some of these names that potentially are getting these upgrades again. Um, but there you go. Maybe, so what do you think? Like a few more heroes. Defensive, offensive master might be new legends. But yeah, that's, that's so, you know, not a bad idea to invest if you're going for legends. Because here's the thing is after, after Super Bowl, the week after you get ultimate legends so people are going to want to power up their ultimate legends so even if you miss your legends on the super bowl not a bad idea because ul comes the week after uh we then have honors too so a lot of people looking at potential honors card let's go ahead and take a look at like 
TJ Watt or Aaron Donald are probably like the odds on favorite for that. You know, some people think it's going to be Miles Garrett. Aaron Donald probably deserves a card. We'll see if he gets a Super Bowl present card. TJ Watt's 93 hanging out at 1. Uh, 103, so 101, so a little bit above the, the market value of a 93 overall. Um, but the rest of them is, yeah, JJ, where's TJ's power up? TJ's power up's kind of expensive, Th or I guess not really, 3,600. Uh, but yeah, with honors card, you won't really get it's not a set, so you the power up might go up in price if TJ Watt wins that. Otherwise, we could take a look at Donald, who's another potential one. Um, like I said, either either for honors or the Super Bowl promo itself, 3,400 for the power up. If he's part of the Super Bowl promo, the power-up's not going to go up because he'll probably get a uh, set that you can do. 54K for an 88 is overpriced without a doubt. Some people are investing in it. 93 for 121. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of the speculation already bought into Aaron Donald. Uh, probably should have gotten that a while ago, right? Just just, just casually grab a time machine and go back in time to get that. Let's take a look at what, like, a Ramsey card um, would be going at right now. Ramsey. But overall, like, outside of, like, a couple names, like, there's not that many like exciting god tier mutt cards that will come out. Ramsey's very expensive. Is this a set card? Can you do a set for this Jalen Ramsey? You might want to do that to profit. Um, I, we, I guess we can go look for this Jalen Ramsey 92, um, a, a, a mutt hero champion. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. That might be profitable. Just do that set. Um, now that I see it, as people are investing in it, you can make money off speculators. It's always good to make money off other people or gridiron guardian. My bad. Uh, champions was that it's 92 92 ramsey's 92 what i see 140 for him so a 90 overall champion goes for yeah that's instantly profitable although sorry i looked at the 36 but if the next ones are 40s yeah 42 42 so it's like 120 ish to create him and then he sells for 140 so small amount of profit i wonder if you can make the 90s even cheaper than 40k um, so let's back out heroes. How much does it cost to make a 90 overall? Nine cards, 486s and 582s. Let's go ahead and take a look at this set. The 86s go for nine. Ooh, okay. So that's not profitable to make the 90, 90s at all either. Huh. They really got us kind of uh, priced in pretty well for that Jalen Ramsey. Outside of his specific set, uh, you can't really make much off the heroes though. So, ooh, what else? What else? What else? What else? We're talking about Ultimate Legends coming. We talked about Honors the week after the Super Bowl. Obviously, like, I think it's not a bad idea to sell on hype for Honors. Like, the Honors card is happening Thursday before the Super Bowl. So, that maybe we can talk about more next week. Uh, but if a, if a guy gets nominated and wins the Honors Award, his price would skyrocket. I don't think it's a terrible idea to sell on hype. As usually, people wait for the card to come out. And then they put out. And everybody's kind of flooding the market at once once it's already out. Uh, but that's that. Um, Super Bowl Part 1. Pro Bowl content. Maybe some limiteds. That's what I want to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed Market Monday. A lot of investments to be made, a lot of coins to be made. I know it's it's a little on the uh, slow side right now in Mutt, but it's about to get real fast. We're about to hit that old speed lightning, hit 88, and uh, maybe we'll go back in time and make some coins off stuff we already know that's going to happen. Anyways, that's it. Please like, please subscribe, rock bottom coins. Uh, use code GUTFOX, 15% off, or I think it's 20% off now through the Super Bowl. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at 100K. I think we're going to make it. I don't know. We're all going to make it, though. I'll see you tomorrow.